is the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Show with John Impemba and James Grande. What's going on, FA Nation? John Impemba here with James Grande. Welcome to the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Preview Show. We are here the Friday 10 game main slate. Of course, Thursday was MLB opening day. So just two basketball games on the slate for that day. So we didn't do any shows uh, for the Thursday slate, but we're back. We're here to talk about 10 games, some interesting matchups, maybe some fun matchups as well. If you kind of look at it, Detroit, Washington, uh, Lakers, Pacers, Warriors, Hornets could lead to some, uh, maybe some high or exciting player performances there. Knicks, San Antonio could be fun. Phoenix, OKC. Depending on where SGA is, I imagine he'll be good to go there. No, uh, he's, or, nope, nope. Doubtful? That's it. Doubtful. Yep. Doubtful. Ooh, well, there you go. There you go. We saw what happened with OKC the other day when there was no SGA. Yeah, and the, and the performances that some well, they, came through with, some yeah, did well, not. Well, well, one, one, <laughs> did, one particular <laughs> large individual did not have a very fun no, time. He was not there for a fun time or a long time in that game. <laughs> uh, Portland, Miami, and Denver, uh, Minnesota close out the slate here. Starts at seven, ends at nine here, James. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, so let's kind of just jump into it. No pleasantries needed here. You all know we love you. We appreciate you all tuning in. If you haven't tossed a like yet down on today's show, do so. It's a free way to help us support the channel. At the point guard position, 10-3 is SJ, as you mentioned. Doubtful to play against Phoenix. Brunson, 92. Booker, 91. Donovan Mitchell is questionable. Yep. We'll see if he tunes in or not for that one. Halliburton, Maxi, Curry Harden round out your eight and nine K tier. We've talked a lot about Jalen Brunson lately. We've talked a lot about the minutes that he have been playing. Uh, his production is as elite as ever, but they just keep winning it by a lot. And Dude. therefore he does not play the minutes we need him to sort of pay off his price. But I mean, he's coming down now a little bit. <laughs> yep. Brunson 92 on the road against San Antonio. What do you think? It's a good price. Um, San Antonio has obviously been more competitive, dude. If you if we just get the Brunson high thirties mid mid to high thirties minutes, we're gonna get a fifty bomb, right? Um, mm-hmm. That's pretty much what it's been every time he has gotten mid to high thirties minutes. Um, dude, when you you they scored one hundred forty five points, they're the slowest paced team in the like. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Move on. Uh, next game, he still was good. Uh, I, I like Jalen Brunson quite a bit. Yeah, uh, I'm in a full-on agreement with you here as well. That Knicks-San Antonio game, uh, the Spurs are home getting 10, but you've talked enough about San Antonio lately and their ability to actually be competitive in games where they have these double-digit point spread. So Brunson could be a little bit sneaky uh, there given the matchup. Uh, you do have Halliburton at $8,900. We talked about the shooting coming back, and then it didn't. Chicago blew them out of the water. He was 3 of 11 from 3, 4 of 15. He had zero assists at halftime. I don't know if you saw uh, betting Twitter losing their mind Dante? Over, over that. L- allegedly another Jonte? Uh, uh, I don't know if you saw some of the John the Jonte Porter updates, but um, yeah, that guy is just an idiot. Uh, yeah, one point one point two one point two million dollars, I think. It was. Yeah, and he was betting on like his brother's props while he was in like the G League because there's no rules against him like betting NBA. Oh yeah, not on an NBA team. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, and then then goes 1.2 mil on his on himself and gets himself caught. Uh, um, yeah, so Matt, uh, Halliburton's there. You know what? Props to our guy Anthony Hunt that's in the chat. If you sure. remember on Wednesday, he was asking us about this Clippers. He said 48. He said, he said 48, 48 Fanduel points <laughs> for Tyrese Maxey here. And listen, we didn't like. We shot him down, kind of. We like. We like. Yeah, you know what? It's an interesting game. No one's gonna play there. If you want Paul George, what you said. Paul George, Tobias Harris, you gave up Paul George. Paul George had a big game in that one here. He was calling out Maxi Again, Maxi wasn't really in our player pool because of the other matchups that were on the board. And then this game goes 107-108. Maxi does pretty much everything. George does everything on the other side of that, and they both pop off. Now he's got Cleveland, though, in Cleveland. You know, not a great yeah. spot. But, like, you know, where are you with Maxi and any other guards in this 8K range for you? I would say Maxi. Halliburton tournaments it's hard to ignore at least on the Halliburton front that that first game or the other day that they met the Lakers game had 295 points scored so like if you want to go to Halliburton I think that's fine Maxine tournaments always a bucket 
like when he gets going, obviously he can score. Uh, we don't know the status of J- Jamal Murray. Uh, I believe Jokic also uh, is on the injury report. He's probable. So, yeah. I mean, Murray, eh, you know, eh. I, I do think maybe things could be a little easier for Murray. Anthony Edwards is on the injury report, John, for his back this time. So that's a new injury. I mean, it's been the finger for a little bit. Maybe mm-hmm. it'd be a softer matchup. Uh, Steph Curry, fresh off his tears after Draymond got thrown out. I mean, I mean that that's a look, right? Like I don't, I don't crying out of frustration. Like it, it was, it was a very strange game for uh, the for the Golden State Warriors. Um, I mean, they beat Orlando. <laughs> or yeah, maybe another Jonte situation uh, brewing there after four minutes. <laughs> Draymond Green, um, allegedly. Yeah. Uh, Curry and tournaments only. Harden, Harden, eh, tough matchup. Tournaments only. Cade. Hey, guess what? Played, guess what? 29 minutes. Yeah. Took 23 shots. It's a great spot. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays, um, if people gravitate towards him, but like he's not going to play more than 29 minutes. So it's really hard to. He should have exploded him. in that game. He had 32 actual randomly, just two assists. Well, I know. Week. I know. And, and that's like a 60 bomb for him if he just gives you the six and six. It, it could have definitely been a 60 bomb and it's not like that's out of the possibility against Washington, but also yeah. you just have to understand there's just clearly a limit, right? Yeah. He is just not going to play. He played much. 32 in the one Oh four, one Oh one loss. So I would say maybe 32 is his the cap. That's yeah. your cap. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and I think if there, if you were to guarantee me 32 minutes, I'd be okay with it against Washington. Yeah. It's not a terrible price tag for him there. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, 75. Garland is probable here. So um, I guess if there is no uh, Mitchell on the other side of that, Garland could be interesting. Vassell, someone we played a lot of here. Uh, Big pace down spot for the Knicks, for uh, San Antonio, rather, against the Knicks. That's something to at least consider. Um, What else are you doing in this, like, 7, 6K range? I know Jordan Poole, uh, he popped. Big time the other day. I was was this overtime against Brooklyn forty four or just no regulation? He, he played straight forty four. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember. I I know that he was in some winning lineups I saw in tournaments. Thirty eight seven and eight for our guy Jordan Poole here. Uh, we get a chance now to run that back against Detroit. Yeah, so happy it didn't. It came outside of basketball season. Thanks, Jordan. Um, yeah, I mean, good spot. Really, really good spot. So if you want to get to Jordan Poole for tournaments for sure, uh, Bradley Beal in tournaments. He's kind of taking a back seat again. I'm like, let's just talk about it again. Delano Dude. Banton. Dude. <laughs> I tweeted it and I, Delano ba- Scoot Henderson was 40% of my contest. Guess what? I played him. And Delano Banton was 15% of my contest. Guess what? I didn't play him and I didn't cash. And if I, ca- if I, Delano Banton, I wouldn't even, I would have like 10 X to my money. That was the difference between him and Scoot in my, in my lineup. Uh, it's just a, we're just at a point where it's a tough matchup for him, but it ultimately has not mattered in the slightest bit. I mean, he is doing quite literally everything. In Houston, he went for 28, 11, and 5. Yeah, dude, he's he is he is having himself. This guy couldn't buy a minute on the Celtics. Well, I mean, that's that's also like kind of you know I get it. I get it. Like, right? Like, but like, <laughs> but like he couldn't buy a minute. No, he couldn't. No, he, he, <laughs> no, he did not play. He did not play at, at all for, he had that like one random start. One random start. Maybe that was, I mean, I I think I texted you too. I was like, Delano Benton is him. Well, I yeah, guess. I was, <laughs> I, I was mad. So I ignored you because I had played Scoot Henderson played Scoot, again. Yeah. So it's like, uh, F- the thing is they keep pricing them the same, basically. Dude. Actually, Scoot continues to be more expensive than him. And he got in foul trouble again the first yeah. half. He got in foul trouble again and then just wasn't as good. Because you know, I'm, as soon as you play Banton, Scoot goes for 60. I'm playing Scoot again. I think you I have them to. Both. I, I think you have to play them both. You play the ownership with Scoot, but then you you see that he's capable of producing with with Scoot Henderson. So, like, why not just play them both at this point? So, I have to, no, I, my I have to play Scoot. I, I'm I'm telling you. Well, what if he, you play this guy instead? True. I mean, he was very good. He's he a very good very player. Good. He's a very good player. Yes. Is, and no no SGA again. Dude, I mean, he's the not shooting, 30 plus. Dude, he's making a lot of shots. He has not been, like, again, like, I'm not saying he's been bad this year shooting. 
Um, he didn't make his threes, but like he's making everything right now. Just every game. Like he's just been consistently good from the floor. And obviously we know how good he is peripherally. So I think what's the big takeaway here is you talked about it the two games prior. Like, look at him. He's hitting his threes, four or six, five of eight. And then he goes only 0 for yeah. 3, but he takes 11 free throws. Yeah, it took 11 After free taking throws. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. This dude doesn't get to the free throw line. No, he's not. A, and then he took 11. He just took over the SGA driving role. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, that's like literally just, he's just doing what SGA does, right? Right. He's 100. Um, he took, he took one tenth of his free throw attempts in that game yeah. this year. He has 100 free throws this year. <laughs> one tenth of game. them yeah. came. He, 71 games, John. Yeah. One tenth of his free throws came from one He's game. That bad. is crazy. So, again, I like Giddy as well in tournaments. Banton's there. Uh, McBride played 40 minutes again, 49 fantasy points for him. I mean, like. Did you see a start to that game? Yeah. He, start. he hit he hit the sixth first half or first quarter threes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, we're, I mean, we talk we, you know, we talk about it since since October. That late yeah, season in NBA is wild. Yeah. Miles McBride and Delano Banton out here tossing down fifty and sixty <laughs> fantasy point games <laughs> for tournaments here. Uh, you have to play him, right? Yeah. If this game's competitive, he's playing forty eight. We know yeah, that for 40, sure. Yeah, he's playing forty eight. He played forty in a game they won by forty, so he's playing forty eight, and this game is within fifteen. Yep. Right. So um, and he's under six K. You have you have to play. I think I've Knicks said in general. Lot of guys here, but, Knicks, right? Um, Blank Nick's blankest Nick's like bl- blanket blank statement. statement. Yeah. Blank statement. Yeah. Agreed. Um f- I mean, what else do you, what else do we do here? Where, where else are you looking at the point guard position? Kyle Cole Anthony, someone you've called out now, a few slates, 31, 32 minutes, 36 and 47. And we'll get to somebody at power forward that we're gonna talk about because minutes are you know. <laughs> It's, it's maybe there. Um, how so you've been on Cole Anthony now for a little bit, and it's paying off here. How does so like Gary Harris healthy, right? Yeah. But if you're Orlando, and I know it's unfortunate that they've lost both these last two games. How do you look at these last two Cole Anthony games and be like, ah, thanks Cole, but you're going back to 18 minutes because it's like legit a possibility, right? Because they they they're going to start Gary Harris. Yeah. With Gary Harris back, and then Gary Harris presumably plays 22 to 24 minutes, right? That's usually what he plays. I, I guess in the two games prior, he hadn't played as much, but they were also like um, 20 and 15 point wins. How do you not play Cole? Like, how do you not extend this guy? I, I mean, you don't need the defense. You have, you have Suggs. Well, I, I agree, but they've also lost both the last two games without Gary Harris. Oh, so it's like, what, I think both of us are like, well, look at what this dude does for you offensively. It's like, well, look at what they've done all year with Gary Harris, like randomly start from just like a yeah. real basketball perspective. Anyway. I, I, I want to play Cole Anthony. I do. I'm just, I'm a little unsure what his role is with a fully healthy team. I like Colts didn't play the minutes, right? 60 minutes. It's just what it's going to yeah, be. We thought 25. You played half that. So it's it's just going to be what it's going to be. Teens, minutes. So, like, maybe Anthony takes a few from Fultz. Maybe he takes a few from Suggs. May, like, low 20s. And if it's low 20s, it's fine. Uh, just not as good as I think. Yeah. Oh, At least he's still play. under 5K, right? You can sure. you, you can get their 22 fantasy points. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, at 45. Uh, would you play anybody else down here? I don't. Ethan Wallace got the start. He was terrible. Um, he was terrible. Uh, Nembard's been decent. Uh, you could always play McConnell in tournaments. It's a great spot. We just saw McConnell go nuclear in the spot last week. Yeah. Um, so, and Indiana, like, blanket statement, Indiana Lakers is going to be, like, probably the most appealing game of the night. Agreed. Uh, that game, Lakers, Indiana has a... Where is it? Uh, 241 total, two point spread. Dude, it was two, like again, very hard to repeat 295 points. There was or there was 295 points scored in that game. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, shooting guard, you mentioned Edwards is questionable here. Devin Booker, 91 against the Thunder. Uh, Booker, you know, pick your day. It could be him. It could be somebody else. <laughs> right. He draws Lou Dort. I would assume in this yeah, game. I agree. So, yep. Um, Donnie Mitch again, 91. Paul George again, we talked about it. You know, our guy Anthony was all over him 22, 10, and 4 in that game, 47 fantasy points 
for PG. It's a good price and, if he goes off. It's not a great matchup, but it's a good price. And the winning foul for yeah. Paul George, too. Did you see that? Oh, oh. I saw, you, I, saw Ubre, I, saw, I saw Ubre, yeah, out there getting tapped. Def, definitely, definitely foul. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Talk about Sal, DDV, uh, we, we hyped him. He's good. Yeah, he's, he's okay. Good. He was okay. He only so played 33 he, minutes because it was it was 40 point win. So, so it was well on its way. Dude, he got put back in that game coming from someone who played him. I was super happy he got put back yeah. in the game. But then like he actually had a crazy stretch to get him to this. Uh, but then he just got taken out like right after it. And it was like, yeah. all right, well, I they're up 40. I can't say I blame him. Right. Um if again, if competitive though, we you he took 12 threes. So he was on his way to 23 point attempts again. Uh, so certainly could play. I was all over Cam Thomas. He was in the playbook. I called him out. 45 minutes, 38 actual, 55 fantasy points in that game. Um, again, big pace down spot for them in Chicago. You know, whatever you want. But I, I do think you, the dude is crazy bucket. Yep. Uh, anybody else for you in the mid tier? Um, nothing that we haven't mentioned at point guard. Um. Uh, Kind of now down in value. Like, did you happen to see like, on Twitter the guy that needed twenty points from Grayson Allen to win fifty k? No, did he get twenty points? He did not. He he, got, oh no, he did. He did a same game parlay. It was but with like a boost, I think. Uh, all like alt lines, and he hit the first three, and it was late game Denver Phoenix needing twenty actual from Grayson Allen to win, turn seventy five dollars into fifty grand. I would have cashed out. He said that there was a cash out option one time for 3500 but they took it away before he could make the decision because he was obviously hesitating. Right. Um, and Grayson Allen goes uh, tough, tough. 13, 13 actual there. Tough. Uh, we talked to Gamrod and Banton and Giddy, the all dual positional eligibility. So playing multiples. Um, Sasser, Neesmith, KCP, any of these guys for you in the 4K range? No, but it's Isaiah Joe. 3,700. And I asked you about him and we didn't really like we weren't pot committed, but the data point that I've led to was he's the leading usage getter yeah. when SGA is off the floor. And and there's a lot of factors here. Chet fouled out. Casey Wallace was really, really bad. Was bad yeah. And that led to Isaiah Joe who a threw popcorn the, machine. Out. Let's see where we got the minutes here from, but I did see him. Um, the, le the lefty dunk was just... and, and uncle Jeff's career. I saw that one. Yeah. I mean, that was insane, um, yeah. but he is a good scorer. So with SGA out, there is a chance that we get like, I mean, we did too. talk about, it. I told you, I do like him there. So he came in uh, for case and Wallace. No, he did not. He came in for giddy. In the first quarter, played the final five minutes and then played the first 10 minutes of the second quarter. Um, then didn't check back into the game until four minutes ago in the third, played until the seven minute mark. So the first five minutes of the second. So he's locking in for like minimum 20 minutes here. And then he, he closed the fourth quarter with no check. I mean, that that's obviously yeah. chat related, but yeah. yeah, and he got overtime minutes. So but I mean, let's see. With say say five, nine, Eight. and 14, 14 and ten. So we got twenty four minutes in this game with you know just regular rotation. Twenty four minutes is more than he typically plays, and he's thirty seven hundred dollars yeah. shooting guard small forward. It's a, I think it's a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent play. I agree, and if they need offense because Phoenix is scoring, like they'll right. put him in. Right. I'm with you. Uh, small forward, LeBron, Anthony Edwards, dual positional eligibility guys here. LeBron James, triple doubled against Memphis. We we kind of liked him there. No AD, no AD. He goes for 63. We'll see the situation here with the Lakers. I imagine LeBron plays, but we know. We, we both know. both guys questionable. Yeah, AD so have, finally listed questionable. He's usually listed probable. And so. 7 p.m. start, so we will get that information at least. Yep. Yep. Um, DeRozan, Kawhi, Siakam also in this 8K tier. Um, what are your thoughts there? Um, LeBron, head of the spear. I think you can get to LeBron even if AD plays, just given this game environment. Yeah. Uh, Edwards, really tough spot. Uh, he didn't. He went nuclear against Denver last week when they played. Uh, this is obviously a really important game. So you know, if Edwards plays, he's playing max minutes. He's gonna yeah. he's gonna play forty minutes. So 
Um, you can always play Anthony Edwards. Uh, DeRozan, another 40 bomb. Not enough at 8,400. I don't think there's like... I don't want to say that there's not a 60-point ceiling because I do think like DeRozan can still give you 40 actual, right? Yeah. And then like we're talking 60, but... Like, because he gave you 46 in the end of game. There was overtime. There, that was like a wild. I don't know what the ceiling is at 8,400. Really? Like, so I'd rather play someone like a Siakam, Paul George, probably, or go down to the next tier where Jimmy is returning or Josh Hart, um, who wasn't great, but again, didn't wasn't needed in that game, right. just given. It wasn't great, still nature. went for 31, right? Yeah. Kind of <laughs> Dude, right. And and there's no OG, which at the end of the day, like, leads to all these minutes. Uh, DiVincenzo, you mentioned. Uh, Denny was really good again. And I think the most important thing is the minutes for Denny. He just yeah. continued to just be Another rock double solid. double comes back, double doubles against Brooklyn. So, yep. So, I, I that would probably be, I'd probably rather get to that tier than anyone other than yeah. LeBron up top. Uh, Brandon Miller had a huge game against Cleveland there, 31 actual. Starting to like maybe pick it up a little bit. A couple of good yeah. games, both of them against Cleveland. Now he gets Golden State. We know um, potentially an easier matchup for him. If anybody sits, I mean, I, I say it all the time. Dude, like, you Hachimura, do. like I always say, like I'm playing Hachimura if LeBron or AD are out. I, you know, he's been 36 great. and 55. I mean, 55 is ceiling, but he's not the first time this year he's done 30 actual points. So he's he he was rested, John. He only had to play 39 minutes on the front yeah. and the back. So he was well rested. Going into, I mean, like he went seven for eight from three. He had an out of body experience scoring, yeah. but even you said, even if you get that first sixteen and fourteen game against Milwaukee, like you're taking that to the bank with Hachimura. Yeah, I mean, definitely the ceiling, right? Against Utah, he had thirty six actual. He went six of eight from three. So, like, if he knocks Makes down the threes, that. there's a slate breaker there. Um, you know, fifty nine hundred bucks. Agreed. Uh, let's see. Under under five k, five k range. Anybody for you? Um, I guess if Minnesota, if there's no Edwards, there did be some, you know, N.E.W. or Kyle Anderson or something like that. What was our um? What was our San Antonio bump with uh? Champagne played thirty one minutes. That would be your value if there's mm-hmm. no Keldon Johnson. Uh, I guess they just ran Champagne out there. The Spurs Champagne, not sure. the Washington yeah. Champagne. Um, Spurs Champagne, uh, you can obviously get to... Oh, Tumani Kamara is already out. Yeah. Well, you know I would suggest Chris Murray, but he only played 22 minutes last game, so eh, that's a tough one, to tough pill to swallow. Uh, there's not a lot here other than um, the potential of Champagne if um, guys are out. Agreed. Uh, uh, Brown randomly played 30 minutes the other day. I don't know if that be appealing but like 30 minutes i don't know sure uh power forward again anthony Davis dual position eligibility kevin durant 9300 dollars went for 60 pick your right day a little revenge game maybe in okc for kd yeah. uh bankero kuzma at 8300 dollars continues to do some things for us here you mentioned siakam already uh where are you at the top tier power forward Durant, you know, right after we were talking about like him just kind of chilling almost, like letting Beal get his, Booker get his 50, 59 fantasy points. Now he's 9,300. Definitely a good price. Um, Paolo, you know, he continues to be fine, but five for 17, obviously not great. 33 fantasy points, not great at his price. Kuzma for tournaments for sure. Dude, he played four, another guy, he played 44 minutes. Like it's, if that's the minute ceiling from Kyle Kuzma, then it's Detroit. We got it. We it's just there has to be appeal to Washington. It, it, they just don't want to be like the worst team ever, right? It's like they are. Yeah, the team like, was an overtime game, by the way. It was. They played five minutes over. Oh, okay. Sorry, my but apologies. Still, okay, he um, played thirty-nine minutes. So, so thirty-nine. Him and Jordan Poole played thirty-nine minutes regularly, yeah. regardless. Yeah. So if if that's going to be a a potential ceiling, he fouled out too, by the way, in overtime. So sure. uh, who knows what this? Who knows? I guess. How late that was? If you have popcorn, hey, it was the very yeah, it was the very end. He played okay. four minutes and fifty one seconds. Okay, so he fell out right at the end. Um, but regardless, forty minutes potential for Kuzma, you'd have to have. Skin Agreed. Um, talked hard already. Miles Bridges down to seventy eight. Jalen Williams at seventy four. He was the big dog in this game for OKC. Thanks, um, to, thanks to his second half in overtime because yeah. he it was a very slow start. 
Yeah, a lot again. Most of the thunder there yeah. either did nothing or were late to come. So a good spot potentially him against Phoenix, seventy four hundred dollars. Um, highest usage rate without SGA on the floor is Jalen Williams there. Uh, and maybe he's overtaken the fantasy points for a minute after. Yeah, what Chet, a, there's, yeah. After what Chet did. Uh, Mobley at 7K here, played 30 minutes, 31 minutes. Yeah. You know, if we're going to start getting 7K Mobley again, uh, or 30 minute Mobley again, definitely some interest. Nas Reed, um, what are your thoughts on the mid tier? Yeah, I mean, J Dub is going to be the most popular of the three, no, without a doubt. Um, and I think it's warranted. Finally, over 7K. It took SGA to be out for that to happen, but 7,400, I'm perfectly fine getting there. I expect him to shoot m- better. Nine for 23 from the floor, but that just goes to show you, like 23 shots, no SGA. And I know Chet's foul trouble had a lot to do with it, but still, he's going to take a lot of shots. Um, Nas Reed, 30 minutes, 41 fantasy points. Like, he just continues to be great. Uh, they've already put Gobert and... Edwards on the injury report again. Like if yeah. one of them sit, obviously Nas Reed just instantly becomes, I would say one of the, like the more prioritized plays of the slate. I know it's Denver, but like if Anthony Edwards is there, Nas Reed's the number one offensive option. For right. Me. So um, I'm good with Nas in pretty much all formats. Uh, Sohan was really good the other night for a back to back second straight game. I know the first one was out without Wemby, but no Keldon Johnson in the second game. Keldon right. Johnson listed questionable now 36 minutes. Most second trade double double. Um, he's a good player. He's a he's a good player. Uh, he needed, needed a little marinating, right? You know when he got drafted, and now he's getting a little extra opportunity to play and develop his game. So also needed to not be a point guard. Also, yeah. Also, <laughs> didn't need to be a six ten point guard. That is uh, that's true. Um, value tier power forwards for you here. Uh, I saw somebody in the the winning lineup had Precious Achua the other night, John, mm. um, for no reason whatsoever. Uh, none, zero reason to play pressure to chew in that slot. In that slot, uh, but they got bailed out. And back to back games, thirty three and forty four fantasy points. I know twenty eight rebounds in the last two games for him in twenty six and twenty seven minutes. I just refuse to believe that's can like sustain. Maybe maybe he, it does. You have a backup four on this team. Yeah, but in a, in a in a competitive game, is there even such a thing? I don't know. Just Josh Hart come off the floor in a competitive game. That's um nevertheless uh if you want precious what you know uh they started uh detroit went back to the chemezi metu starting lineup 32 minutes you know i mean if we Mosh- pick the right day uh, we'll, we'll know at least we'll know. yeah we'll know uh jovic started again the other day um i know jimmy's uh, obviously he started but he played 30 minutes if they're banged up again like he's probably fine 36 minutes for dfs didn't do too much but got 36 minutes yeah, he's always playing. Uh, let's just get to John Isaac, who, I mean... 24 minutes after playing 23 minutes. So the minutes ramp up is real. Yeah. This is, I think, where, I think this is probably where he gets capped. I don't foresee 28 to 30 minutes in his future, but I think 23 to 25 is probably where they want Isaac sitting at this point, which at 4K, he's in my lineup every day. Yeah. He he's has, just, dude... He had such a good first half in this game, and he, like, didn't do much in the second half. But, like, yeah, dude, he has just, like, you just see it. There's multiple blocks and steals every game because that's, he causes havoc on the defensive end. He's a great rebounder on both ends. Like, great offensive rebounder is, like, almost as good as he is defensively. And there are going to be games where he can score not 25, but like get you double digit points and make multiple threes. So right. uh, I agree. If he's, if we're playing mid twenties minutes every night, I don't see a reason. I don't see it lasting at 4k for very long. So no. like you said, as long as it, as long as it's here, we kind of have to play it. My hope is that DraftKings is now watching baseball. Well, and, and like Jonathan Isaac just hits four 4k, then 4,100, then 4,200, then 4,100. And like we we play that game for a little bit, um, mm-hmm. because yeah, listen, I, we were always talking like hey, eighteen minutes. Like I'll play him at eighteen minutes. The, the upside's there. Now if he's if he's telling me twenty three to twenty five is where we we might be sitting, like you lock, yeah. you lock that in. Yep, agreed. you lock that in for sure. Anybody else for you? Power forward. What did Poku do? Twenty three minutes. That game. It's probably it, right? Um, twenty two minutes for Gordon. 
Yeah, he act, He was the first one off the bench. He was actually got out to a really fast start scoring the basketball, but I, I, I'm i a little curious if that was anything to do with the back-to-back. But sure. um, 22 minutes, 13 points is not bad for Gordon Hayward. 3,600? That wouldn't be like a terrible lineup. Like it's a good like, showdown, showdown lineup play, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, center. Finish it out here. A lot of questionables. And then Wemby at 10-6. We know Jokic is probable. AD questionable. If you're spinning up 10K and above at center, where are you going? I mean, it's hard for me to not play Jokic in a scenario where Jamal Murray does not play. Okay. I know he wasn't great in the Phoenix game. I got so, – the Memphis game was so tilting because I ended up pivoting. That was Luka – versus Jokic, and that was the crazy slate on Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday? Tuesday? I don't know. Whenever it was. It was the Tuesday slate, four games. And I pivoted to Jokic. Dude, he didn't play the fourth quarter. He had 63 right. fan. He had 63 fantasy points. He's a 1.9 fantasy point per minute guy without Jamal Murray this year. Like, I'll play that every slate. Rudy Gobert... Or not. I mean, he has, 30, Minnesota, he has 35 and 16. This so. is goes back to the, the the thing that we've talked about that people have probably heard and been like, what are you talking about? The Jamal Murray interview with Gobert saying like, nah, don't, no, I don't need double. I don't need help. And Jamal Murray hears Jokic say, brother, I got 40. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like Rudy Gobert can't stop this man. So if there's no Jamal Murray, I'm Jokic is probably my number one option but also <laughs> you know you get lebron by himself you get ad by himself like obviously that things could change there and uh, i'll be a little more flexible and also victor women exists and victor women has an 80 point fantasy ceiling so yeah um i i prefer Jokic without murray uh but like 80 great spot Wemby sure. has a ceiling against anyone Get Bam here at 84 against Portland. Obviously, we know what he is capable of doing. 50, 46 the last couple of games here. A bunch of 40 pluses. Um, whether Butler's in or out doesn't really seem to make a difference these days for Bam at $8,400. Eight uh, and remains questionable. Uh, we'll see if he uh, is able to get on the floor for this one or not. Jared Allen, Chet, as we talked about. What a disaster. 0 for 2 shooting. We're, go, we're going minutes. back to the well, Hunter. We're going back to six, the well. Like, we're, six, we just ignore, dude. We just ignore that game and move on. Like, okay. there's just no way you you can, like, we just ignore it and we move on. Is Nurkic in? Let's see. Nurkic is questionable. I would have more interest if Nurkic is out for Chet here. Um, I guess that's fair because, like, the foul trouble, right? Um, yeah, and if Nurkic is, like, a big re- – I mean, Nurkic yeah, might have 20 rebounds, rebounds in that game, right? Like, I think – was this the Nurkic 20 rebound game? Was it? I think so. He's averaging or, or 30, or the 30 rebound game. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, this is the 30. This was the 31 rebound Nurkic game. Yeah. So I mean, you know, you know, if you Nurkic, think Nurkic win, I guess you go. Yes, you go here. There's no way Nurkic is not looking at the schedule. Like, guys, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. Like, yeah. Uh, I mentioned to you the other day. I like Jalen Duran. I thought if that game could stay close, like there was a chance. <sighs> didn't stay close. He played 27 <laughs> minutes. He's got double doubles though, man. Like he does. he does. If this game was to stay close, he would dominate. No, we don't think we have homes, right? Like, yeah, he's out. He's yeah. Out. So I like, I like Duran, but probably hard to get to there. Um, heart and sign 57, Trace Jackson, Davis, 55. What are you thinking? I mean, all those guys are fine, but like, I would probably go wreath. Um, if yeah. Aiton's out, but like also Marvin Bagley season is back. Yeah, so, that's fair. Um, 25 minutes off the bench, 18 and six revenge as well. Team that traded Re- him, right? Um, a team he was like playing for and probably thought like he had a good chance to continue to play for, right? right? And then just got exiled. Uh, I think this is a, a really, really good Bagley spot. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, first ownership run, he's one of the yeah, highest I'm roster players. Click- I'm just clicking his name. I think that's true. I think uh, that's- if if no AD in, dude, Jackson Hayes was really good again. Uh, 27, yeah. 27 fantasy points, nearly 28, uh, 14.7 rebounds, five fouls, but thirty got 30 minutes in that game. Sure. I mean, 
He's like their only the Harry Giles is the backup if Anthony Davis is out, right? Like right. that's they're gonna play Jackson Hayes. So uh if if there's no uh don't even click his name. Like, it's gonna be ball. dude, but this was the game the other day where they decided, well, you know what? Let's go back to Isaiah Jackson. And Isaiah Jackson played 13 minutes in the uh the Lakers game. So like it's just hard to it's just hard to predict who's playing who's playing the back of five at this point. Sure. All right, I'm I'm just clicking some buttons here. Matu Bagley, Isaac Jokic. Yeah. Um, where's our boy Delano? Uh, Trend and Wofford, by the way, just throwing out there, 3100. Got another 19 minutes. Just throwing it out there for the for the people at home because apparently he's just going to continue to play big minutes. That makes sense. Uh, Five for 55 for a guard, or um, or small forward. Five for a guard or Kispert guard or small forward. Um, may have to make some adjustments somewhere. I mean, if Murray's out, Reggie Jackson obviously. Uh, sure. Michich, Michich had a really, really, really big game the other night. Um, double double with assists. Yeah, not a bad spot. Um, oh, I agree. What did Jones like to do? Nothing, not a damn thing. Um, I mean, Champagne if is an option if there's guys out there. Small forward, you could play. Just play minutes, kind of. He's just fine. I like the guard matchup for him. Uh, Banton, McBride, Divincenzo, Metu, Bagley, Micic, Isaac, and Jokic says our top spend up there. Uh, playbook out. Grande will be on that one for Friday, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, we'll be back live 5 p.m. Eastern time for... Uh, all the updates that you guys need to get ready for this 10-game slate. Till then, everybody, we'll catch you later.